We refer to Maran Mordechai Eliyahu al Shalom as Abihem Shel Yisrael, the father of the Jewish people. Now, I do regret that I didn't have the confidence as a young man to spend more time with him. When I say I was uh, sort of a little bit shy in the sense that he would, uh, he was like, he was so just warm and everything else and he would tell you, come sit down, let's talk or something, but I always felt intimidated, you know, I was this young man and he was this big rabbi and I, I would keep standing, I wouldn't sit and whatever. So I kind of regret today, now I'm a little older, a minute amount wiser that uh, I didn't take more advantage of the times when I could. But in any case, he was a very, very special person. There's a story about once a, a gentleman who used to sell, shall we say, Judaica of all descriptions, but including Mezuzot. This is important for this story. Now, he went with someone who was, whose job was to check Sefer Torah, Tefillin, Mezuzot, to make sure that they were all kasher. And they went with certain problems that they had to Arab Mordechai Eliyahu Alam Shalom to speak to him about it. So there they were, they were sitting there together and explaining the problems that we're having, the things that were taking place. And after they finished speaking, Rab Mordechai Eliyahu Alam Shalom turns to the man who sold Mezuzot. He said, I want you to go home and check if you have Mezuzot in your house. So what do you mean? Do you have mezuzot on the doors of your house? The man's in a state of shock. He says, what do you mean? Of course I have. First of all, I sell mezuzot. So of course I have mezuzot. Secondly, I put them up myself. So I guess he was a little agitated. So the person that he went with, the one who checks the mezuzot, said, no, no, you didn't understand what the, the, the rabbi was saying. What he's saying is that maybe they're not kasher. That's what you have to go and check, whether they're kasher or not. But that's not what Rabbi Mordechai Eliyahu said. He says, check if you have mezuzot in your house. He says, all right, I guess he was probably a little pacified by this. So they went home, or he went home, and they said, all right, we're going to check the mezuzot. Not one of the mezuzot cases on the wall, cases on the wall, had any parchment inside. Not one. And he had put them up himself. So the rabbi was telling the story. Later on, ask Rabbi Mordechai Eliyahu alawa shalom. He said, how did you know that he had no mezuzot inside the cases? His answer was, since it came out of my mouth, Bashamayim amru amen. In heaven they said, Amen. And that's what took place.